Today we are doing Fall Crafts. This is a part of the monthly Room by Room playlist hosted by Freckled Mom DIY. This month's theme is Industrial Farmhouse Fall. I will have the playlist link in the description box as well as Freckled Mom DIY's channel link. So go check those out to find some great fall inspiration from all of the creators that are participating. Let's get started. When I heard Industrial Fall, this was the first craft I thought of. You might have already seen this on Pinterest, and I wouldn't be surprised if someone else on the playlist does this one as well, but I've always wanted some of these pumpkins, so here we go. I got this dryer vent duct from Walmart, five feet of it, and I paid six dollars and some odd cents for it. But the prices on these things often change because it's sort of a construction item. So um, I did find it on Amazon and it was cheaper per foot. So you'll just, I would just shop around if you're going to make any of these. And um, this five foot length made two pumpkins. So about two and a half feet um, for this size, which I believe was five inches around. Um, made two of them and I wish I would have cut this perfectly in half I just sort of was eyeballing it and um, if I would have stretched it out and measured and cut it um, in half one of them one of my pumpkins it was a little tight getting it to um, to close to clamp and glue and then the other one had a little extra on it and could have been stretched more you can see here it's so easy you just bring the ends around and um, I used a combination of E6000 and hot glue and then clamped it and let that uh, sit for a while to let that glue set up I was worried about the adhesive working well um, gluing metal to metal but the E6000 worked great a lot of people have been handling these pumpkins and there hasn't, um, you know, it hasn't been coming apart at all. So that combination of glue worked well for me. And I'm going to paint these two pumpkins, um, one one color and one the other, um, heirloom white for one, and then uh, hammered copper for the other. With pumpkin stems, I, I'm usually pretty lazy and go out into my yard and get a stick to use as a stem, but I wanted to stick with the industrial farmhouse vibe. So I have this little wood block here that's a cylinder, and then I also have these slap bracelets from the do from not Dollar Tree but Walmart. You get four of them for a dollar, and I'm just taking the metal out of them. It has a nice color to it. This flexible, um, you know, bracelet metal here, and I'm just going to wrap it around this wooden block that I put some antique wax on to give the stem um, an industrial vibe, you know, to go with the industrial vibe pumpkin. I'm sure different people will think of industrial farmhouse in different ways, but I just thought of metal, um, you know, metals and woods, um, maybe even paper, uh, you know, sort of basic items like that. Um, that's what popped in my head with industrial. And so I wanted this other, um, um, for the copper one, to have an industrial vibe too for its stem. And so I got one of these metal buckets from the Dollar Tree. You get a pack. Oh, of several for a you know for a dollar twenty five, and um, I just took the handle off, bent over the metal that the handle went through, and then um, used some E six thousand and hot glue to adhere this. But I did um, first paint it with some gold spray paint, and you could paint it whatever color you know you'd like. I didn't care about being messy with the glue because I knew that I was going to be putting some Spanish moss around the base of this stem. Thank you. 
I did distress because it looks so plain and one dimensional. I did do some, um, you know, some antique wax on that stem just to give it a little more uh, character. Now the um, stem for the white one was a little more narrow and it just didn't feel like it was sitting down in the hole there very stable so I wanted to plug that a little bit and I just used a piece of uh, styrofoam off of a Dollar Tree pumpkin. You could use whatever, a wad of paper, but I just wanted to glue that in there just to have some more surface area for me to glue my stem to. And I didn't care about that I didn't finish the bottom of the stem, the base of the stem, because on this one as well, I'm going to add some of that Spanish moss. You could decorate these up any way that would match your decor, the color of the pumpkins. You could do orange. You could make them look more traditional and of course whatever stem you want to use um, as long as well as um, you know the little accessories on you know to attach to the stem. For this next one, I'm taking one of these foam pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. Just going to remove the stem as well as the toothpick that was in there. Won't be needing those. And I'm going to give this pumpkin a coat of truffle by Waverly because I know that there are going to be places where you can see through what I'm putting on here. This was um, Pinterest inspired as well. I believe the website linked to home talk um, that website that shows different ideas and um, you just take a roll of brown paper from the Dollar Tree and you're gonna cut off whatever size um, links you want of the paper into little slices and then once you um, you know cut cut them off then you fold them in half but really I mean, the sky's the limit here. You could do any sort of configuration. Um, you could take them and roll them up into a roll. You could try to make little fl uh, paper flowers. I mean, there's, you know, you could interpret this different ways. And the inspiration that I saw, they cut theirs wider. Their little paper, um, I don't really know what to call these little um, <laughs> paper sections. They cut them wider. And so, if you did that, you wouldn't be able to see um, through to the painted pumpkin as much, but I was being cheap and wanted my paper roll to go further, and so I cut more narrow um, strips off of the roll. And so you can see there as I'm putting them on that you can see some of that brown paint on the foam pumpkin underneath, and I'm okay with that, but I do go back and fill in with some smaller pieces that I rolled up of paper so you could do that as well. Um, I did leave the bottom um, just painted. It was the bottom. I didn't care but you could you know cover the entire thing for a more finished look and I just took um, a brown um, well a unfinished wood block and I uh, used antique wax to make it brown and then attached that to the top.
I thought that these sort of bright colors of these berries on this berry garland from Dollar Tree just didn't match the vibe of the pumpkin. And so I painted the berries in two different colors, um, antique copper and then gold. And I really just did one coat just to sort of tone down the colors. You can see the difference there. And then I just um, twisted it around the stem, adding a little dot of hot glue just to keep it stable and then uh, curling in the ends around a small screwdriver. For this last DIY, I'm using these wooden letters that I got off of Amazon, and if I'm being honest, I got them because of the tray. I really liked the tray that it came in, but they are two inch letters, and um, I like sort of the plain font. I wish they offered them in different fonts. I probably would have got some a little more ornate, but the um, industrial you know, look, I feel like the plain font maybe goes a little bit better. But you can see here, these are some wood letters from Walmart, and I'm just showing you they're about the same size as these, and I didn't do a cost comparison. I feel like the cost would be about equal. Um, if, you can, if you consider that you're getting the tray too, it's not too big of a difference from the Walmart and Dollar Tree um, wooden letter prices. So I didn't feel like I got ripped off or anything. Might have been a little more expensive, but... Um, Anyway, I'm just going to plan out my sign here, doing some measuring. I also, as a decorative element on the bottom of the sign, have one of these pumpkin cutouts from the Dollar Tree, as well as just two strips of chipboard that I cut out, very thin uh, chipboard, sort of the thickness of a cereal box, just as an extra decorative element. I wish I had other sized pumpkins. I would have flanked the big pumpkin with two smaller pumpkins, but I didn't, unfortunately. But I just measured from the top and then on, you know, on each end um, to make it even and then put a piece of tape across there to, um, you know, have as a guide on how to put my letters because I would not be able to eyeball that whenever I write um, you know, with my handwriting on a chalkboard or something, it goes uphill or downhill. So I'm just not good at eyeballing, you know, being accurate like that. But I did the same thing on the word festival. And then I'm just going to hot glue all these things on. And go back and fill in the hole on that little pumpkin with some spackling. Now I have these two holes from the hanger on the sign and I could fill those in, but I just decided um, to use these little stickers here from the Dollar Tree and um, hot glue that over each hole. And then as well as um, on the other side where there aren't any holes, just making, you know, making this match and be cohesive. And then I took it outside and painted it with the metallic gold by Krylon, but I didn't like the color. Um, but instead of switching colors, I thought maybe I'll distress it um, and add some other paint to the top. But I didn't like what I did there either, so I scrapped that look and um, gave it a coat of hammered copper by Rust-Oleum. And I didn't do a full coverage. I let some of that streakiness underneath show through and I liked that. It gave it an aged look. But to make the letters pop and the pumpkin, just sort of the decorative elements on here pop, I went over the letters 
and the pumpkin and the little um, line detail with um, some Mod Podge and then sprinkled on some cinnamon that I got from the Dollar Tree. After that dried, I went back with a dry brush and just sort of um, used it as a little broom, sweeping in between the letters. And then once I had it pretty well cleaned up, I just took it outside and gave it a coat of clear, um, you know, a clear coat. And then that made the, um, you know, the cinnamon darken and look more like rust. And I really like how that turned out in the end. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to visit that playlist and watch other creators that have made fall crafts on their channels. That link is in the description box below. If you're on a device where you can't see the description box, another way to get there would to be to search for Freckle Mom DIY's channel if you're on Roku or something similar. Then on her channel you can go down to where her playlists are listed and you will find it there. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss the new fall crafts coming up as well as Halloween and Christmas around the corner. Have a wonderful day. See you next time.